It's a great question that no one actually knows the answer to, but we're going to do our best to explain based on what we know from past epidemics and what we know that the modelling is showing us about what's going to happen into the future. For reference, in 2002, SARS broke out and it wreaked a lot of havoc. People died, but it eventually, they contained it and it petered out and it hasn't basically been transmitted to any from human to human since 2004, so it's effectively extinct. Experts don't think that that's the case with COVID-19. It's spread so much further, so much wider, we can't track the spread anymore. And it's probably, according to the experts, gonna be just with us indefinitely now, just something that we get. What that means is we are dealing with this until we have a vaccine for it. And the timeline for a vaccine is 12 to 18 months. There's about 15 groups around the world all working really hard to get a vaccine. There's lots of different technologies that they can use to build a vaccine and they're trying to figure out which one is most appropriate for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. They hopefully will have something in the next few months, but even when they get something that works on in a test tube or in a lab, it has to go through the processes before it's actually going to be ready, safe, and also able to be manufactured at the scale that we need it to for everyone in the world to be able to get a vaccine. So until we're there, we're dealing with this thing. And we do know that it spreads, that people can die from it. And so the object at the moment is to just slow the spread as much as possible so that we can not overload our healthcare systems. And we talked about this before. That's why we have social distancing. That's why we're trying to flatten the curve. So we're probably looking at some kind of social distancing measures for at least 12 to 18 months, basically until we have a vaccine. Short answer, no, it's not gonna eradicate the virus. It might help us get a handle on what we're dealing with, but it's not actually going to stop it in its tracks. And the reason for that is because we know now a bit about how the virus works. We know that it takes about five to 12 days for people to develop symptoms after they've been infected. And then once they're infected and they're given off that virus and are able to be contagious to other people, they're shedding the virus, they're kind of giving off the virus particles for about 20 days, so about three weeks. And so so you've got a week or two of incubation, that time before you start showing symptoms, and then three weeks or so of being infectious. That's actually, in some people, had been measured at 37 days, like quite a long time. If you do go out and you're meeting with people and mixing, you actually don't see the result of that until a week or two down the track. And so a shutdown for a few weeks, a good way for governments to get a handle on what's going on, but definitely not enough on its own. What the next 12 to 18 months is going to look like for where you live, I can't tell you that. I'm not actually sure anyone can at the moment. But what we do know is that if this thing is around and we don't have a vaccine for it yet, we're probably looking at a change to the way we live for at least months, if not longer.